The uh, purpose of this tutorial is to demonstrate uh, the what the derivative of the sine x function is. And remember, derivatives are instantaneous rates of change. So what I'm going to do is I've graphed the sine function here, and this axis, even though you see uh, decimal numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, this is actually in radians. Um, the uh, maximum point occurs at pi over 2 radians. Well, if you take a calculator, and uh, divide pi by 2, whoops, divide, missed the divide, uh, that's about 1.57. So that's actually that point right there. See, pretty close to 1.6. Uh, the um, See, across the pi, that 3.14 is right there. Uh, has a minimum point, the sine function, at uh, pi over 2, or sorry, 3 pi over 2. So if we do 3 pi over 2, See, so it's about 4.7. See, that's pretty close to 4.7 there. And this uh, period, if a cycle starts here, it ends at 2 pi. 2 pi is about 6.28, double pi. So pretty close to 6.3 there. So, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start drawing tangent lines. And I'm starting right at the beginning here. So that's where I intend my first tangent line to be, where x is 0. And uh, so that's my first one. That's pretty close. There we go. And then I'm going to do kind of one in the middle here. OK, so there's my tangent points right around there somewhere. And then do, that's a little bit too low. Okay, I'm trying to do it right there. Okay, so let's do another one. Now, maybe a little bit further on. Okay, I did one here. I'm going to do one there. I want to do one kind of in the middle here. Yeah, that's not too bad. And then, now I'm kind of aiming for this point right here. I think that might be uh, slightly too steep, maybe. Yeah, it's pretty close. That's yeah, pretty close. Okay. So I've done that point right there, so I want to maybe do in the middle here somewhere again. And yeah, it's a little bit too steep, I think. Uh, there, tangent right there. There we go. And let's do one at the bottom here. Tangent line would be horizontal right there. Yeah, it's okay. I'm gonna move it down just a little bit. Okay, so tangent line right there. And then I'm, I'm gonna finish here, so I'll do one kind of in the middle here. Maybe something like. And my tangent line would be tangent right there. And then one near the end here. Um, OK, so I'm aiming for there. Maybe a little bit steeper. Yeah, something something like that. That's pretty good. So, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start measuring the slopes of all these tangents. Remember, I started right here. So I'll start with that one, measure the slope. And I have to kind of turn them off. So I did that one, so I'm going to do this one next. Measure the slope. Well, oh, turn it off. So measure the slope. And then this one's next. Measure, do that for every single one as we go along here. Measure the slope. OK, so I've done that one. So this one's next. I'm going to try to make sure I go in order here. Turn it off. This one, slope. So this one now. And measure the slope. Okay. 
So that's all my points now. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plot for all the x coordinates, the tangent point x coordinates. I'm going to plot these as the function values or the y coordinates because these are the slopes of the tangent line. So these are actually the values of the derivative. So, so there was my first tangent point, remember, and the slope is 1.08. Okay, so about right there. It's actually it's actually a little bit high. If I let's see, I think I actually have that just a little bit too steep. Let's try to make this as accurate as I can. Yeah, something like that. I think I grabbed the wrong point there. Yeah, it's pretty close. Okay. So let's plot the point here. So um, it's actually supposed to be one exactly. So I'm pretty close. I'm pretty close there right now. So CD was the next one. I kind of was. Uh, let's see now. CD. Uh, there we go. This one right here. Yeah, my tangent points around here somewhere. It's about 0.8. So about right there. <clears throat> and then EF. EF is this next one, tangent points right here. So put a point right there. And then GH, okay, GH right there, uh, negative 0.6 approximately. So we'll be down here about negative 0.6. Uh, IJ, IJ is this one. My tangent point is about right there. So we're down at negative 1, about right there. And KL will be next. See KL, okay, there's the tangent point. It's about negative 0.6, so about negative 0.6. So about right there. MN, okay, so MN is this horizontal one, tangent point's right there, so we'll plot zero. And then OP, OP tangent point's probably about right there. And we're at 0 .0 0 0.7. So about 0 0.7, uh, about right there. And then QR, QR is the last one I did, uh, right at the end here. We're back up to, well, it says 1.02, it's supposed to be 1. That's pretty close. So about right there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a uh, screenshot of this and I'm going to plot the function that I just drew. So, um, let's see here. So it starts right around here and now there's a lot of points on here. I think I'm off a little bit. Yeah, let's Erase that. Let's start over again. Black pen. So it starts right here. Remember, after that, I'm I'm heading for that point. I got sidetracked there a little bit, and I'm doing this all freehand. So, and then we go to this point, and right down there, and that point, and then like this and that's the last point right there so notice what I've graphed see so remember we started with the sine function y equals sine x and what we've actually graphed here it's derivative and you should if you studied some trigonometry you should recognize that as the cosine function so the uh, this is just trying to demonstrate that the derivative of the sine function, sine x function, is the cos x function. And that certainly does look very much like the cosine function. So that's what this investigation is supposed to demonstrate, that the derivative of the sine function is the cos function. Derivative of sine x is cos x. And that's the end of the tutorial.